Hi there, it's Matthew with Isudo Technology Solutions. In this video, I'm going to go over um, how to get started your uh, Microsoft 365. Once it's set up and your account is ready to go, um, this is how you can get logged in and what you can do um, as a, you know, a, a, a lot of times as a new clients, we onboard them, we want to show them what to do. Um, we work with a lot of customers who ask us to help them migrate from the existing email system to Microsoft 365 or set up a brand new Microsoft 365 account. And in this video, I'd like, let me share with you what, um, what you can do and how you can get started quickly to use the web version of Microsoft 365. So I'm going to share the screen and how to log in right here. So the First thing you do is log into office.com. So open up a browser, whether you use Chrome, Edge, or Safari, you open a browser and then go to office.com and log in with your email address and password. Once you log in, it'll take you to this uh, landing page or home page, and then it'll tell you if you, you log in for the first time, your screen is probably going to say no content because you haven't uploaded any documents or anything yet. On this left-hand side, this is the left-hand pane, you will see, you know, all the your, uh, shortcuts to your favorite apps. This includes the Office, uh, I mean, Outlook client online. If you click on this, you open a new tab and you can access your email and things. So it'll start loading up Outlook and you can start reading your email, reply to emails from here. Do you also have Microsoft Teams where you can do chat, you can do meetings, if you are using, you know, Zoom, this is an alternative to using that instead of uh, continuing to do Zoom. Most people, uh, you know, can also use this to collaborate on documents and chat with each other internally because everybody in the organization have access to Teams. They can also work on documents together within Microsoft Teams. We can see and collaborate like, oh, who's working on what file and make changes. Microsoft uh, Word and Excel is the other one, PowerPoint. All the list of apps, if you click here, it'll show you all of them, you know, and you can see uh, the other one is, if you haven't used SharePoint, it's your company uh, documents, you know, file storage. You can store all your company's document on there. OneDrive is your personal um, drive, your personal storage account similar to a Google Drive, it's, it's, uh, it allows you a Dropbox. OneDrive is similar to that. And you have OneNotes where you can use it to take notes and share notes. You know, a lot of times we, we have meetings, we take notes, you can use that and you can log in and store it in one central place. Uh, we talked about Teams and we also have Microsoft Bookings. Bookings is similar to Calendies. So if you need to, let's say, book appointments and stuff, this app will allow you to set up and appointments on your personal calendar or you can set up a shared calendar for the company. That's a quick overview of that. In this tab, if you're an administrator, you can click here, you open up the administrator tabs and it'll show you how to have access to assign license, to set up new users, to uh, maybe add additional um, uh, licenses if, if needed and when you hire new people. One of the first thing that we recommend though, after you get your account set up and you logged in, is to go here and um, you can download the Microsoft Office app to install on your local machine. So if you can install Word, Excel, Outlook and stuff, you can install all these apps that's online to your local computer. So it'll sync all your emails. But from a securities perspective, from because with these, you know, ransomware attacks and cybersecurity, we highly recommend that everyone, everyone set up two-factor authentication and choose a strong password along with that. So choose a password that's at least, you know, 10 character or more. Go here, click on, on this, and you can say, okay, view my account. Here you can click on this to set up um, multi-factor authentication. 
this loads up, you add a method to add additional security. In this case, you can set up the Microsoft Authenticator, or you can set up a phone, let's say a phone to text you each time uh, you try to log in. It'll send you a one-time like six-digit code to log in along with your username and password. The other thing is, you know, you can also uh, look at devices that you, you have access to. This will show you that. If you need to change passwords and stuff, you can also do it right here. So you can do all that on that page. Now, going back to this um, home page here, once you log in, uh, the other thing you can do is change the theme of this color. If you don't like that, you click on the gear button. Now you can change, you know, different colors, background, and theme. Um, the goal is like you keep, they give you some default ones and you can view a lot more. So it's nice to be able to see that. You see the background and stuff there. So that's a quick overview. If you still need help or, um, you know, need additional setup and stuff, contact us at isudo.com or give us a call and we'll be happy to set up a um, free consultation for you. 408-216-5800. Thank you and have a great day.